another push up. Yeah. I get like most of my inspiration is coming from very little details that sometimes are probably not seen in Lima, in the capital. There's no way to do my food without coming here. We got this feeling that we know very little and we have to go for more information. And then we have to share, of course. Me Esto lo usan como carbón. Sí. So Maria is using all these varieties of corn, giving lots of flavor to their preparations. This has been happening here, maybe thousands of years. In esta linda comunidad. Look at these corns. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. This is the. Do you remember the urpi runtu? Urpi runtu. They call it like that because they yeah. are small, like uh, like eggs and. There's a bird that is called the urpi. Most of the names of the varieties of corn and potatoes and tubers, they, they relate a lot with the nature and what they see. All these colors, all these textures, uh, all these ceramics, all these uh, textiles, they actually have lots of, of information. Here actually we, we get time to see and to learn, to think about how amazingly we are connected to Peru through food. This soil is, of course, blessed. I just can feel it when I speak to people, when, when I just interact with people. When I see the watia, when I get into the aromas, it's something unique. Of course, the result is, is fantastic. Oh. These women have come from their weaving communities and their agricultural communities. They brought their potatoes and their olcas and their other tubers to put into the beautiful watia. Yeah, here I found uh, I had a boss. Yeah. This boss he was very demanding. I want to just go there and do everything like my style, but I just can't. There's a boss here. We have to work together. And this community, these guys, they are very organized. That is a learning process as well. I mean, it's, it's their culture, it's their tradition. It only makes sense that they they have to handle it the way they know how to do it. So. This is the high altitude way. When they don't find these rocks, then they use this, this soil mixed with uh, dry remains of the harvest and the oh, yeah. dry branches of barley and wheat and whatever around. they find, yeah? Yeah. Very, very new for me to see something like this. You know, there's no way to replicate this in your kitchen, <laughs> in my kitchen. I'm standing on the oven. All the food is inside the earth. It's cooking on superheated rocks. You can see the, the smoke coming. This is a celebratory tradition that goes back a thousand, two thousand years. But one of the important things to do with the Pachamanca is to offer something to Mother Earth. It's the Aini, or reciprocity, that they believe so deeply here uh, in the Andes. The first uh, sips of chicha, this is the fermented corn beer of the Andes, are always for Mother Earth. Weavers are coming from 10 different communities all across uh, the southern Andes. And this is about the only day of the year that they come together between the communities to celebrate amongst themselves, to be honored by the visitors who are here. Oh, 
o caer la pachamanca. Sometimes experiences that you probably think that they are not related to gastronomy, they are so related to gastronomy that they can even change next menu at Central. Yo soy cocinero, tal vez yo sí me puedo conectar más con, con la guatia que veo allá, la pachamanca, ¿no? Tal vez los patos que están ahí en la laguna, <risa> la llama que me la quiero comer. Pero eso vengo yo a aprender de ustedes, los mejores promotores de nuestra cultura, los grandes guardianes de esta grandeza que tiene nuestra tierra. <risa>